Hello, welcome back to Space Engine Days. In today's video, we're looking at another small turret that you can just deploy onto a battlefield, man it yourself, or leave the AI to its own devices to blast your enemies. So this thing sitting right next to me is called the HGC turret, which is this lovely thing over here, and does come with some moving parts that will deploy automatically when we get to the helm right behind it. But yes, this thing has got a Gatling gun on the front, which is your main gun, and then you've got a side rocket launcher, which you can press whenever you need that extra firepower. When you drop it down onto the ground, we've got four magnetic plates on its legs to clamp it in place. And yes, you basically just fly over a battle zone, drop this off from your ship, and we'll let it do its thing, or have these scattered around your base and man them when the enemy aircraft comes nearby. But yes, for a demonstration of how this thing works coming up and behind it, what we're going to see is this section right here is going to fold up and around, so into here, there we are, and it just folds up and around to give you a small little aiming reticle to well blast your enemies with. Popping out of here, it goes back, back in here once again, and there we are. Just a nice little simple thing to add some extra flavour to this turret. And really it's pressing number one that's now going to take over the turret itself. We can move this thing around full 360, up and down, really it's very limited, up and down, that's all we can do with this one. Then once we're ready, we can just mouse click, shoot it with the Gatling guns, then we can tap number two to fire the rocket launcher as additional firepower. In third person view, moving it around. There we are. And of course, looking at it from a distance, like so, hiding all the lads. And they're just spinning around, shooting the Gatling gun. But yes, that's what this turret is. And I'm going to hop out of here, press F10, find this ball menu. Then we're going to have a little look around outside. Then we'll go through the rest of the controls. Then maybe we just play around with it. So pressing F10, finding this ball menu, here is the HGC turret, and here's one I showcased quite some time ago, which is the belt fed machine gun turret. Very similar fashion, but this one is much, much smaller. And yes, it comes in at 87 small blocks, using a couple of the DLC packs. Up here, we've got a nice bit of information about it, where it says, since people really like the belt fed machine gun, which is this one up here, they've gone and created this one, which originally did not have elevation, but the creator returned to it, added it, and well, here we are. Yes, down at the bottom here is exactly what the DLC packs are being used where. So simply give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a look around the outside, that's the wrong thing. Yes, like I said, go through the controls, and then all of that. So for the very front of the HGC turret, this is what we get. Where as you can see right in the very middle, it's our Gatling gun to blast your enemies with. But there's some white steel blocks, some grey steel blocks, to make up the main body of this turret. We've also got spotlight on one side, our rocket launcher on the other. And then down to here, we can see the rotor of how it's going to be spinning a full 360. Moving down slightly more, we see how the legs have been supported. So we've got some scaffolding that comes all the way across and down to magnet plate. We've got some hand skin on the side in the form of an armored panel. And around onto the side here. Here we go. So we see our rotor, how our little aim reticle is going to fold all the way up and we'll deploy in front of us. Of course, down here is not too much has changed. There's our rotor spinning around once again. Then towards the very back here, here's the other rotor for our aiming reticle. And here's our helm to actually go and control it. Right behind the helm, we can see a hinge of how we're going to slightly lift it up and down. Of course, the back of the rocket launcher in all of its silver gloriness. And then moving all the way down underneath this thing. Here we go. And there's the bottom of it. The house has been set up. Moving all the way up, looking down. There we are. Not too much to talk about over here. The grammar hold the character, putting him into the seat, or the helm even. There we go. Back into the free camera. And here we are with the actual aiming reticle fully deployed. So we see it up, folded rounds. Onto the front. And there we are. Of course, looking on this side, there's your custom weapon controller, how the AI is going to take over when you don't want to control it. And that's part of the outside for the HGC turret, which once again, like the belt fed machine gun, looks bloody fantastic and a nice little utility piece to have in your world, in your blueprints list. If you want to have something as a forward defense system, or just have a little bit of defense scattered around your base, without having it being attached onto your base itself, or without having to get into your ship and blast it that way. And now that I think about it, you could, if you really want to, remove the magnetic plates from its legs, replace them with wheels, and then just drive this thing around as an ominous little, or well, moving turret. That's entirely up to you if you want to go that far. But now what we're going to do now is bring up the HUD. These are the only controls we get with this thing. Doing a first person view. We've got number one to actually control the turret. There we go. We now spin it around, lift it up and down slightly. We've got number two for your rocket launcher to click and fire it. And they've got lights on the front to turn them on and off. My name plates to lock and lock it, so if you deploy it down onto the ground and it is a bit wonky, you the option of unlocking it, how about relining it. And then finally, number nine is the AI to take over it. So once you're done with this thing, once you do want to manually control it, press that, hop away from it, and well, that's going to do its own thing, plus any enemies that come nearby. Perhaps we'll create a little test, see how it handles. Back into this. 
into here, finding all of this, selecting it, giving it to the space pirates, there we go. And now, because I've walked past it, there we go, had to disable being unparkable, and there we are, this is it tracking me all the way around, so running around, we see it's doing a fantastic job of actually circling around and following me, jetpacking, it's actually surprisingly quick of how fast it's actually trying to track me. This thing is going to be bloody lethal, especially if there's a second one or a third one. This is going to be absolutely horrible to drive through this section or try and run through this section through the way it has been set up. Moving away from here, we still see it's trying to shoot me, but it's getting harder and harder the further away I go. There we are now out of his range. What I am going to do is spawn in the good old Dex Fighter. There we go. Totally didn't spawn upside down. But now what we're going to do is fly back towards the turret, so going all the way up, there it is in the distance, just flickering away there, as a tiny little wild blob. And away we go, we're about 500 meters away. Flying. Is it going to log on to me? No, it is not, so I might need to actually fiddle with this ship. It, oh, there it is, it's now actually shooting me. It was a little bit odd there, I wasn't actually sure it was going to shoot me or not. I wasn't actually sure the ship was actually over to me, or well, on the right faction even. But now we're going to drive past it. 600, 500, there it is, it's now shooting me, and just gonna follow me around. It's really hard to see what's going on, maybe if I change it to nighttime, it'd be a little bit better. So there it is right there, you can see the glow of the light coming off it, driving forwards, and there it is, it's now detected me, we see the actual spotlight shooting out forwards, so we see exactly where it's gonna be aiming without actually seeing the gun or the shots coming off it, it's actually doing a good job of actually shooting me, but of course, if I fly too high, it's not going to be able to shoot me. I'm going to be able to fly straight over it. So having them sit on this mountainside in the distance as a surprise attack, a surprise attack turret, and that'll do very well. Because if I was to drive up to here to try and repair this ship up or coming back for another strafing run, I think a gun down, try and go all the way up and above it. No, there is a distance once again. Go drive past it one more time. So here we go. We're now 1.7 kilometers away. We're going to do this at night because the gunshots do show up quite nicely against the darker skybox and of course the dark grounds. So you've got me now coming into engagement range, or flying around at maximum speed, in fact above maximum speed, and... There we are, it's actually doing a very good job of actually denying me from coming to approach them. Of course it would be a lot better if I was in the land vehicle driving around, so it would absolutely deny me coming close to this area. But no, that is the power of that turret, the custom turret, and what you can do with it in your world. So bring the sunlight back around. There we go, free camera once again. And here we are back over to here. But yes, as for that, that's pretty much it for this turret has to offer. It's just a nice little thing that I saw in the workshop from the creator of the belt fed machine gun, which was a lot of fun to play around with. And having these types of turrets that could double as a manual firing gun, it's always a useful thing to have in your blueprints list. And well, as I said, that's it for this thing, that's it for the outside, what you can do with it, the controls and all of that. So be linked to it description below to which you download apparently yourself. Highly recommend you do, and I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.